the Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darks. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the Darkspawn drove at us again and again, until finally we neared annihilation. and women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings. The Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevailed. It has been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. Seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. Greetings. Charmed, I'm sure.
For generations, your family, the Kuzlans, has stewarded the lands of Hyever, earning the loyalty of your people with justice and temperance. When your country was occupied by the Orlesian Empire, your father and grandfather served the embattled kings of your land. Today, your elder brother takes up House Kuzlan's banner in service to the crown. Not against the men of Orlais, but against the bestial darkspawn rising in the south. I trust then that your troops will be here shortly. I expect they will start arriving tonight, and we can march tomorrow. I apologize for the delay, my lord. This is entirely my fault. No, no. The appearance of the Darkspawn in the south has us all scrambling, doesn't it? I only received the call from the king a few days ago myself. I'll send my eldest off with my men. You and I will ride tomorrow just like the old days. True. But we both had less grey in our hair then. And we fought all lesions, not monsters. <laughs> At least the smell will be the same. I'm sorry, Pup, I didn't see you there. Hal, you remember my son. I see he's grown into a fine young man. Pleased to see you again, lad. My daughter Delilah asked after you. Perhaps I should bring her next time. Good. She's talked about you ever since she saw you at a fair in Denerim. I think you have an admirer, young man. At any rate, Pop, I summoned you for a reason. While your brother and I are both away, I'm leaving you in charge of the castle. I'm certain you'd more than prove yourself, but I am not willing to deal with your mother if you join the war. She'd kill me if I let you go. She's already twisted into knots about Fergus and me going. Now that's what I'd like to hear. Only a token force is remaining here, and you must keep peace in the region. You know what they say about mice when the cat is away, yes? There's also someone you must meet. Please, show Duncan in. It is an honor to be a guest within your hall, Tyrn Coosland. Your Lordship, you didn't mention that a Grey Warden would be present. Duncan arrived just recently, unannounced. Is there a problem? Of course not. But a guest of this stature demands certain protocol. I am at a disadvantage. We rarely have the pleasure of seeing one in person, that's true. Pup, Brother Aldous taught you who the Grey Wardens are, I hope. They are the heroes of legend, who ended the blights and saved us all. Duncan is looking for recruits before joining us and his fellow Wardens in the south. I believe he's got his eye on Sir Gilmore. If I might be so bold, I would suggest that your son is also an excellent candidate. Honor though that might be, this is one of my sons we're talking about. I have not so many children that I'll gladly see them all off to battle. Unless you intend to invoke the right of conscription. Have no fear. While we need as many good recruits as we can find, I have no intention of forcing the issue. Pup, can you ensure that Duncan's requests are seen to while I'm gone? In the meantime, find Fergus, and tell him to lead the troops to Ostagar ahead of me. Upstairs in his chambers, no doubt, spending some last moments with his wife and my grandson. Be a good lad and do as I've asked. We'll talk soon. Maker, prepare a place for us. Redeem our world from sin. Forgive our transgressions. Maker, forgive us all! 
Have you come to pray for your brother and father? I'd be happy to ask for the Maker's blessings with you. Please, child, call me Malol. I've known you since you were a wee babe, after all. Creator of the sky, the land, and the sea. Hear your people in our time of need. Let no man have cause to fear the shadows. Let their souls be lifted upon your return. So let it be. There now. I'll be keeping a vigil tonight. You're welcome to come. There are many more who must receive the Maker's blessings before they leave. If you would excuse me. It is the least I could do. If the worst comes to pass, child, take comfort in knowing that the Maker's will takes many forms. We shall talk once the soldiers have departed. All right. Good evening, my lord. My lord, we were just, uh... Well, uh, well, the treasury's safe. I'm not even sure why the Tern stationed us here. We appreciate that, my lord. Thank you. There you are. Your mother told me the Terran had summoned you, so I didn't want to interrupt. Pardon my manners, my lord. It's simply that I've been looking all over the castle for you. I fear your hound has the kitchens in uproar once again, and is threatening to leave. No matter how the maids try to keep him out, he always finds a way in. You know these Mabari hounds. They listen only to their master. Anyone else risks having an arm bitten off. I'm not willing to test that. You're quite lucky to have your own Mabari Warhound, you know. Smart enough not to talk, my father used to say. Of course, that means he's easily bored. Nan swears he confounds her just to amuse himself. At any rate, your mother would have me accompany you until the matter is settled, shall we? She was entertaining Lady Landra and her son when I left her, perhaps in the atrium? Uh, before we go, my lord, might I beg a question? I've heard from several people that a Grey Warden is here. Is that true? Then, is it also true that this Grey Warden was asking after me? Maker's breath, are you certain? Can you imagine me, a Grey Warden? It would be everything I've dreamed of! Of course, I shouldn't get ahead of myself. Pardon my outburst. Good evening, my lord. Hello, my dear boy. By chance, I am beginning to teach these young squires about your family's history. Uh, do we have to? History is boring. Boys, you are referring to the Kuslans? The very family in whose castle you live, show some respect. If the mind is not exercised, it withers just as the body does. Perhaps you'd care to join me in teaching the lesson? Wonderful! Oh, the Kuzland history is long indeed. Where shall we start? Records are vague, 
But the Kuslans became Tians during the Black Age. Is that familiar, child? Every day I pray to the Maker that my lessons will stick, and every day he tasks me anew. At that time, your family held only the minor title of Ban. When the werewolves reached this area, Ban Mather Kusland organized a curfew and patrols within the city. Several other local bands supported his efforts by swearing oaths of fealty, making him their turn. Well, I'm glad some of my lessons don't disappear into that yawning chasm between your ears, young man. If I were truly a skilled tutor, I suspect I would not encounter such insouciance amongst my pupils. You can look that up later. At any rate, your family has held the tournier of High Ever since before King Kalanad united Ferelden. In fact, Tierna Elethea Kuslan battled Kalanad to maintain High Ever's independence. Kalanad wished to unite Ferelden, not conquer it. After Elethea's men were defeated, Kalanad asked her to swear fealty. The boulder where they held council still stands today as a memorial of that event. The Kuslans are ardent royalists now, but at that time, Kalanad was unknown and considered dangerous by many. When Kalanhad's army reached Hyever, Tierna Elethea led the local bands against him. Obviously, Kalanhad won. The history between the Kuslans and the Howes reaches back to the Orlesian occupation. During the rebellion against Orlais, several battles were fought near High Ever. The port village of Harper's Ford was the Turnier's center. Its arl was Tarleton Howe. Though nearly ninety, he was still as sharp and bitter as cheap ale. Your grandfather openly supported the rebellion, but Howe sided with Orlais. Your family was forced to seize Harper's Ford before it was all over. Your grandfather couldn't afford to lose Harper's Ford. In keeping the town, your family drove or lay from its lands. The Howes eventually joined the rebellion, when all of Ferelden united behind King Merrick and General Loghain. Just as now we united behind Merrick's son, King Caelan, to fight the Darkspawn. Thank you for indulging an old man. Oh, does that mean we have to listen to you now? Silence! I will not have you two becoming smart-mouthed hooligans. But perhaps you should go. I doubt they need any more distraction. I'm just going to settle in here and... apparently just talk to myself for all the good I'm doing. Don't ask myself all this one to you two. Of course. As you desire.
get that bloody mutt out of the larder. But, mistress, it won't let us near. If I can't get into that larder, I'll skin both of you useless elves. I swear it. Uh, calm down, good woman. We've come to help. You and you. Your bloody mongrel keeps getting into my larder. That beast should be put down. Just get him gone. I've enough to worry about with a castle full of hungry soldiers. You two, stop standing there like idiots. Get out of the way! And so I shall. Oh, look at that mess. How did he even get in here? It does seem like he's trying to tell you something. Wait, do you hear that? like the start of every bad adventure tale my grandfather used to tell. Your hound must have chased them in through their holes. Looks like he wasn't raiding the larder after all. Those were rats from the Kokari wilds. Best not to tell Nan. She's upset enough as it is. But seeing as you've got your Mabari well in hand, I'll be on my way. I'm to prepare for the arrival of more of the Isle's men. Right. There he is, as brazen as you please, licking his chops after helping himself to the roast, no doubt. What? Rats? Not the large grey ones. They'll rip you to shreds, they will! See, now you've gone and scared the servants. I expect those filthy things are dead. I bet that dog led those rats into there to begin with. Oh, don't even start with the sad eyes. I'm immune to your so-called charms. Here then, take these port bits and don't say that Nan never gives you anything. Bloody dog. Thank you, my lord. Now we can get to work. That's right, you two. Quit standing about. And my dear Bryce bought this pack from Orlais last year. The Marquis who gave it to him was drunk, I understand, and mistook Bryce for the king. Ah, here is my younger son. I take it by the presence of that troublesome hound of yours that the situation in the kitchen is handled? You've always had a way with her. Darling, you remember Lady Landra? 
Ban Lawrence's wife? I think we last met at your mother's spring salon. You're too kind, dear boy. Didn't I spend half the salon shamelessly flirting with you? Right in front of your family, too. You remember my son, Dairon. He's riding with your father tomorrow. It's good to see you again, my lord. And this is my lady-in-waiting, Iona. Do you say something, dear? It is a great honor, my lord. I have heard many wonderful things about you. Don't look now, Eleanor. But I believe the girl has a crush on your lad. Lady Landra! Hush, Landra. You'll turn the poor thing scarlet. As it pleases you, my lord. I think perhaps I shall rest now, my dear. Dairon, I will see you and Iona at supper. Perhaps we'll retire to the study for now. Good evening, your lordship. You should say goodbye to Fergus while you have the chance. Yes, your father mentioned that. You haven't got it into your head that you want to be recruited. There's enough here at the castle to occupy you. I don't need you off chasing danger like your brother. A few days. Then I'll travel with Lady Landra to her estate and keep her company for a time. Your father thinks my presence here might undermine your authority. Good. I was worried you might be nervous about running the castle alone. I needn't have been concerned. As do I. Your father and brother are marching off to fight Maker knows what. All the assurances in the world don't comfort me, but it wouldn't help for us to take up arms and follow. Fergus and your father have their duty, and we have ours. I know it's difficult to stay in the castle and watch others ride off, but we must see to our duties first. You understand that, don't you? Trust me, you'll get your chance for excitement soon enough. If he's not out with his men, probably upstairs with Oriana. I love you, my darling boy. You know that, don't you? Go do what you must then. I will see you soon. Good evening, my lord. All right. As you desire. going to be a war, Papa. Will you bring me back a sword? That sword, Oren. And I'll get you the mightiest one I can find, I promise. I'll be back before you know it. I wish victory was indeed so certain. My heart is disquiet. Don't frighten the boy, love. I speak the truth. And here's my little brother to see me off. Now dry your eyes, love, and wish me well. Stay. I'd like to say farewell. Word from the south is that the battles have gone well. There's no evidence that this is a true blight, just a large raid. Could that be true? I'll see for myself soon enough. 
Pray for me, love, and I'll be back within a month or two. Really? Was he riding a griffin? Shh, Oren. Griffins only exist in stories now. I'd heard that. Did he say why he's come? Good for him. I hope he makes it. If I were a Grey Warden, though, I'd have my eye on you. Not that Father would ever allow it. I wish you could come. It'll be tiring killing all those Darkspawn myself. Surely your father would not place both his heirs in danger? Mother and father have been fighting about it for days. It's too bad. I could have used you at my side. If it's any consolation, I'm sure I'll freeze in the southern rain and be completely jealous of you up here, warm and safe. I am positively thrilled that you will be so miserable, husband. Then the Isle's men are delayed. You'd think his men were all walking backwards. <sighs> well, I'd better get underway. So many darkspawn to behead, so little time. Off we go then. I'll see you soon, my love. I would hope, dear boy, that you plan to wait for us before taking your leave. Be well, my son. I will pray for your safety every day you are gone. The Maker sustain and preserve us all. Watch over our sons, husbands and fathers, and bring them safely back to us. And bring us some ale and wenches while you're at it. Uh, for the men, of course. Fergus, you would say this in front of your mother? What's a wench? Is that what you pull on to get the bucket out of the well? A wench is a woman that pours the ale in a tavern, Oren. Or a woman who drinks a lot of ale. Bryce, maker's breath. I swear it's like living with a pack of small boys. I'll miss you, mother dear. You'll take care of her brother, won't you? I agree. Especially if you get yourself hurt. I will never forgive you. Now that is a good incentive, wouldn't you say? <laughs> enough, <laughs> enough. Pup, you'll want to get an early night. You've much to do tomorrow. So I shall. Delighted. I will fight the truth! <laughs> 
Darling, I heard fighting outside and I feared the worst. Are you hurt? They never got through the door, thanks to you. Her scream woke me up. There were men in the hall, so I barred the door. Did you see their shields? Those are Howl's men. Why would they attack us? You don't think Howl's men were delayed? On purpose? That bastard. I'll cut his lying throat myself. Have you seen your father? He never came to bed. We must find him. I am no Orlesian wallflower. Give me a sword and I'll use it. Now let's go. Perhaps we can salvage some things here, darling. And so I shall. Some of your father's belongings are in that trunk. Delighted. Innocence. How is not even taking hostages? He means to kill all of us. Oh, poor fuckers. Let's go. I don't want to see this. Come to me if she hadn't been here. Can you hear the fighting? Hell's men must be everywhere. grandchild is a ravaged corpse. What do I care about danger? The front gates. That's where your father must be. I have my treasury key. We could go there first and take the Kuslan sword from the vault. If anything is worth fighting to keep out of house hands, it's that sword. 
but it may be a dangerous path. If Hal's men are inside, they must already control the castle. We must use the servants entering the larder to escape. Do you hear me? Then let us be swift. All right. The castle has fallen! I'm getting out of here! Yes, my lord! Here... Here they come! Be avenged, old sage. I swear it. And so I shall. Perhaps we could scare them off or Getting close to the treasury. The Kuzlan family blade lies inside. Use that key I gave you. That blade cannot fall into Hal's hands. Of course. And so I shall. All right. As you desire.
Man the gate! Keep those bastards out as long as you can! Your ladyship, my lord, you're both alive. I was certain Hell's men had gotten through. They killed Oriana and Oren. I can't believe. Are you injured? Don't worry about me, your ladyship. Thank the Maker you two are unharmed. When I realized what was happening, it was all I could do to shut the gates. But they won't keep Hellsmen out long. If you've another way out of the castle, use it quickly. When I last saw the turn, he'd been badly wounded. I urged him not to go, but he was determined to find you. He went towards the kitchen. I believe he thought to find you at the servant's exit in the larder. Bless you, Sir Gilmore. Make her watch over you. Make her watch over us all. that Mother Malal has escaped. Uh, he not uh, that uh, uh, to uh, Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> 
We must everyone. get out! They're slaughtering everyone! Die, all right. <laughs> 